go ahead and start this week's episode off with a little humble brag. Last week in my episode, I told you to take Dustin Poirier over Conor McGregor. I also told you to take the Buccaneers plus the three and a half. I also told you to take the over in that game. And I also told you to take Kansas City minus the three. Did they all hit? They most certainly did. Did we all cash? I hope we did. Speaking of humble bragging, I have a guest coming on next. He is awesome. He's part of the Fab Five. We just launched in Michigan and we're ready to talk. That's right. I have Chris Weber. FanDuel Sportsbook just launched in Michigan. How exciting is this for your home state? So many people are happy, you know, especially uh, sports fans. And, you know, I don't know of any better sports fans um, than in my state, my home state of Michigan. If you could put money right now on the team to win it all, who are you picking to win the NBA Finals? Oh, that's tough. That's so tough. Well, I, I just say this. I think that uh, if LeBron goes to the championship, on this it's a lead. Of the time. So I think, you know, he's a safe bet. So I think anytime you can bet uh, with a guy like LeBron James, their character, what they've done, their track record, their resume, their heart, their soul, their work ethic, all those good things, then, you know, I tell you this, I wouldn't bet against LeBron. This is kind of piggybacking off that last question. But if you had to pick someone to win the MVP at this very moment, who are you putting your money on? I think it's going to come down between LeBron. And KD. Right. I'm, I'm not going to hold. LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> I, had, I just want to make sure. I didn't get the bet. Uh, look, I'm not holding you to any of these bets. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and just assume that you might know a little bit more about basketball than I do. Um, and probably most, more than most people. Next, I got a kind of a more of a fun question. Do you have any fun stories about locker room bets that you can and want to share with us? I have a great story. Jay Will is my man, uh, Jason Williams, White Chocolate. And I went, <laughs> this is a good story. Um, because, I don't know if it's a good story, but it was funny as hell then. So uh, I, I lose, uh, I win a bet from him. I don't know, we bet all the time. This so-and-so <laughs> gave me $5,000 in nickels. Oh my gosh, nickels? This is honest, a true story. In the Sacramento Kings, I had to, he rolled it in. I didn't, and he was like, this is your money, because he was mad that he lost the bet, he was pissed. And so he then uh, put them in the back of my car, had some people load it up, and he gave me a flat tire in the back of my car. <laughs> that is the honest to God, truth. And imagine this, imagine going to the bank and then cashing it and then putting them in rolls. Just imagine how- Oh my gosh. Yeah, so that, that, I didn't think of that till just now because we're talking about this. But uh, yeah, Jay will pay me $5,000 uh, worth of nickels and, uh, and caused a whole bunch of trouble that day. At least you had the money to fix the tire. I mean, you probably had it anyway, but you had it on hand in straight cash, I guess, um, as far as the nickels go. All right, y'all, that's all I have for this week. Thank you so much to Chris Weber for joining me today. Hopefully y'all got some good bets and some good tips out of that and let's make some money.